The pandemic's impact on Venezuela provides yet another argument to convince the different parties to take negotiations seriously, says Father Arturo Sosa. He is from Caracas and the superior general of the Jesuits. He has been immersed in the world of politics from an early age. His father was a minister and a member of the government board that organized the democratic elections following the military dictatorship. The problem in Venezuela isn't who mediates, but who is mediated. The problem in Venezuela is about getting the different parties to take negotiations seriously. A serious negotiation means that something new should emerge. If not, then it's not a negotiation. In a negotiation, everyone's views change in some way. In light of recent tensions in Colombia, Father Sosa believes that the crisis in the country cannot be resolved if neighboring countries don't resolve their problems. I think inequality, injustice and poverty aggravated by the pandemic have brought into sharper focus the tremendous discontent that exists within Latin American populations and that politics has been unable to alleviate. The superior general of the Jesuits says the Company of Jesus has reconfirmed that during the pandemic his commitment is to the people. There have been special programs to concretely help people. There has been an increase in aid given to refugees. Last year, we estimate that we helped around 800,000 refugees around the world. This year, the number of refugees in need of aid surpasses one million. On May 20th, the Society of Jesus will begin an Ignatian year to mark 500 years since St. Ignatius of Loyola's conversion. One of the biggest events will be a meeting in Marseille, France, in October, an event to which the first Jesuit pope has been invited, though his participation is yet to be confirmed. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.